الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي Brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome to our course Understand Quran and Salah the easy way. In lesson number 16, we will study the shahud and also do grammar and learn some additional tips. Let us come to the shahud. We'll start at tahiyyatu lillahi wa salawatu wa tayyibat. Tahiyya is singular. Tahiyyat is plural. And here, a tahiyyat means all worships of tongue. A tahiyyat means all worships of tongue. What, is, what, what are those worships? Like uh, worship of tongue, like dhikr, salat, tilawa, dua, and also da'wa, or any you know, good thing that you tell others. All kinds of worships. You know, anything you do with the right intention. All worships that you perform by tongue, Lillahi for Allah. They belong to Allah, due to Allah. Was salawat, salah is all worships of body. One meaning is, of course, salah is prayer, but here it means in the context uh, and one meaning, all worships of body, meaning like uh, prayer, the five prayers, or hajj, or you know, doing the walking or doing something in the part of da'wah, or helping others to please Allah or anything that you do using your parts of body or salawat, worships of body to please Allah. What tayyibat or worships by spending wealth, sadaqat, zakat and so on. What tayyibat? at tahiyyatu lillahi wa salawat wa tayyibat. All worships of tongue, of body and of spending wealth are for Allah. You remember uh, the hadith of Uqash that I had mentioned in earlier lessons this is uh, you know, where he, he responded immediately he asked the Prophet you know, that he be among them here this is a news item kind of you know, all worships of tongue, body and wealth you know, or spending wealth are for Allah but if I am not doing then I am a big loser immediately then I can pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, think oh Allah help me do all of these worships Help me perform all of these. Let my share be there in all of these. And then I check, evaluate, and I plan. Okay, this is a reminder. At-tahiyyatu lillahi wa salawatu wa tayyiba. Can you please translate? At-tahiyyat lillahi wa salawat wa tayyibat. MashaAllah. At-tahiyyat all worships of tongue, Lillahi, was salawat, was tayyibat, all worships of tongue are due to Allah, and all worships of body, all worships of spending or by spending wealth, meaning all worships of tongue, of body, and of spending wealth are for Allah alone. Assalamu alaikum ayyuhan nabiyu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu, peace. Assalamu. Peace. Assalamu alaikum, we always say that peace. You know, Islam is a religion of peace. It spreads peace everywhere. We are advised to say salam always. Peace, spreading peace. You always wish the best for your brother. And here, of course, and here in this one, we are saying assalamu alaikum, ayyuhan nabi. Peace be on you. Alaika means on you. Ayyuhan nabi, O Prophet. Ya ayyuha. Ayyuha is O. Ya means O. Ya ayyuha is O. Nabi is prophet. Anbiya is its plural. Nabiyun, Nabiyin is also plural. Ayyuhan Nabi, O Prophet, meaning Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Assalamu alaykum, Ayyuhan Nabiyu, wa rahmatullah, and mercy of Allah, and mercy of Allah, wa barakatuhu. Barakatun is singular. Barakat is plural. Barakatuhu, barakat, blessings. Barakatuhu, his blessings. Wa barakatuhu and his blessings. Okay, so we are asking for three things for our Prophet. Asking Allah subhanahu wa taala, saying Assalamu alaikum. That means peace of Allah be on you, O Prophet. Wa rahmatullah and mercy of Allah. Wa barakatuhu and his blessings. How does it relate with previous sentence? 
التحيات لله والصلوات والطيبات well there is a there can be a beautiful link the worships of tongue body and spending wealth are for allah alone and who performed these worships the best way and the most the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he performed all these worships in the best way and most and more than anybody else and not only that and he taught us how to do this worship so we are saying o prophet of uh, o prophet of allah o prophet peace be on you and mercy of allah be on you and his blessings be on you okay can we practice please translate assalamu peace alayka ayyuhan nabi o prophet wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh mashallah once again assalamu peace alayka ayyuhan nabi wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh and his blessings assalamu alayna wa ala ibadillahi salihin assalamu peace alayna on us you see alayhi alayhim alayka alaykum alayya alayna alayha we learned that alayna on us wa ala and on wa ala and on ibadillah Abdullah is singular Abdullah slave of Allah Abdul Rahman slave of Rahman Abdul Rahim slave of Rahim so abd means slave Abdullah slave of Allah the plural of abd is ibadullah and on the slaves of Allah on and on the slaves of Allah who the salihin ones the pious one plural of salih is salihun salihin ala ibadillah salihin and on the slaves of allah the righteous ones the pious ones okay assalamu alayna wa ala ibadillah salihin this is a wonderful dua you know just before this we asked for you know the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam okay and after that so we are asking for three groups for the prophet for the three you know areas for for, for three first prophets sallallahu alayhi wasallam and then for us and for ibadillah salihin those who are pious we are in between you know the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has taught us this prayer and this prayer he kept us in between so the prayer for the prophet is accepted and prayer for salihin of course they are among those who are you know na'amta alayhim allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given in'am so these two prayers will be accepted and we accept expect out of mercy of allah that he will accept as also send peace on us also this one thing another thing is the people who are favored by allah alladheena an'amta alayhim for which we are asking the beginnings beginning you know surat alladheena an'amta alayhim those are the people who are anbiya siddiqin shuhada salihin the top is anbiya and the last is a salihin in this group so we are reminded that peace be on us and on the pious ones that means we cannot go below salihin we try to be at least among salihin try to be like them try to develop you know all kinds of good things in us be righteous there can be many more meanings but this is one okay so let us practice assalamu peace alayna wa ala ibadillah الصالحين السلام علينا peace be on us وعلى عباد الله الصالحين and on the slaves of Allah the just ones mashallah اشهد ان لا اله الا الله we covered this in our previous lesson in adhan اشهد اي bear witness and that remember and is that لا اله الا الله there is no god except Allah la means no ma means no lam means no lam, lam is did not lan is will not these words are very very important la you know 1700 times ma more than 2000 times lam and lan hundreds of times very important words very simple to remember especially through examples la ilaha illallah and we remember what bearing witness means all our actions and our sayings they should bear witness that we love allah most we obey him we worship him we trust him we ask him all alone for help and so on 
وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أنا بيتنس أن ذات أن ذات أن ذات and in is if إن is indeed you remember those four things we covered in the last lesson وأشهد أن أنا بيتنس that محمدا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم عبده his slave ورسوله and his messenger he is the slave of Allah the best slave a true slave and a model for all of us okay Abdullah Abduhu wa Rasuluhu and his messenger at this point you know I would like to uh, Rasul the plural of Rasul is Rusul remember that wa ashadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa Rasuluhu let us uh, translate once wa ashadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa Rasuluhu and I bear witness that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam is his slave and his messenger. At this point, I would like to relate a story because we are doing this witness. Remember again, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made us ummatun wasata litakunu shuhada ala nas so that we stand up and give witness to mankind that is convey Islam from our words and actions in the best way, in the best way, in the most wise way to the whole humanity and show it with our actions. May Allah help us do that. So, wa ashhadu, ashhadu, wa ashhadu. Say it from the depth of your heart because maybe this is your last salah. Maybe this is our last salah. Maybe, we, you know, there will be one salah which will be last, after which we will die. One salah will be last. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, whoever's last words on his tongues are la ilaha illallah will enter paradise. How come aqala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam so at least remember to say this with your full commitment so that when you die, when we die, we are reminded of La ilaha illallah. You know, I, 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 I tell you the story of a girl who, a Muslim girl who met with an accident. She, you know, was dying and the, and the doctor came to her and asked her to say La ilaha illallah, La ilaha illallah in a Muslim country. And the girl won't say it. After a while she started singing. Why? Because she, and then she died singing. Because she was listening to songs most of the time. Astaghfirullah. Let us not do that. Say la ilaha illallah with commitment, remembering the death that, oh Allah, bless us to say la ilaha illallah while we die and to live a life of la ilaha illallah and Muhammadur Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Brothers and sisters, inshallah, we'll continue after the break where we will do grammar and learn some motivational tips. والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. السلام عليكم brothers and sisters. Welcome back to 16th lesson, second part, in which we will do grammar, or we'll learn some grammar. Please make sure that you use TPI. That is, as you are practicing, you are hearing, seeing it. So you say, we say, hear it, see it, think it, say it, and show it. And do everything with love and enthusiasm. Let me give an example. Suppose, if in an accident, someone's eyes get shattered to 78,000 pieces, la Allah, and the doctor says, here are your 78,000 pieces, and there are 500 here, 300 here, 200 here. Just pick them up and put them back in your eye socket, and inshallah, your eyesight will come back. Imagine with what love and care and dedication and commitment he will pick up those you know, pieces and put back in his eyes. Brothers and sisters, these exercises, fa'ala, fataha, sami'a, daraba, they are giving us that eyesight to understand the Quran. When we read the Quran, we don't understand it. When we hear the Quran, we don't understand it. These words which come in the Quran hundreds of times are like those pieces which will give us the sight and the hearing to understand the Quran. So please do them with commitment, do them with love, do them with you know enthusiasm. Not you know don't just get uh, bored or don't do it with half-heartedness. No? Do it with full you know commitment. Okay, we have been learning different types of verbs. First is Fataha Yaftahu. Second is Nasara Yansuru. Third one is Daraba Yadribu. And fourth one is Sami'a Yasma'u. And this is what we will cover today. 
these grammar exercises are not you know just grammar but they show you show us how close for example this samia samiu occur in the quran 100 times in the quran so they show us how close and how fast we are approaching to the understanding of quran so don't take them as grammar exercises take them as something that will you know move your you know accelerate your learning and reaching your target of understanding 4500 words which occur in the quran 78000 times so let us start uh, with samia he heard this is fourth type as i said why is it fourth type you see so far we had studied fataha nasara daraba so it should have been samaa but it is not samaa it is fourth type which is samia okay and there are many verbs in arabic and in quran which come on this pattern and we will practice four of them in this class so please repeat after me samia he heard and when there is samia here the the me the e sound on the second letter will continue in the past tense samiu samita samitum samitu samina only this effect is there the rest is same as faala okay so repeat after me samia he heard samiu they heard samita you heard samitum you all heard samitu i heard samina we heard or we listened you can use whatever you like yasma'u he hears yasma'u he hears yasma'una they hear yasma'una they hear tasma'u you hear tasma'una you all hear asma'u i hear asma'u i hear nasma'u we hear isma' hear isma'u hear la tasma' don't hear لا تسمعوا don't hear سامع the one who hears hears and مسموع the one which is heard سمع to listen or to hear I know the the last things are are difficult to translate if you are new to you know these constructions but that's fine سامع is the one who listens to or who hears and مسموع is the what is being heard and سمع is to hear or the one who is heard is masmu sami huwa sami'a hiya sami'at she heard huwa yasma'u hiya tasma'u she hears with practice inshallah everything will be in control so repeat after me in arabic okay sami'a sami'u sami'a sami'u samita samitum samita تسمع تسمعون اسمع نسمع اسمع 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 لا تسمع لا تسمع لا تسمع سامع مسموع سمع هو سمع هي سمعت هو يسمع هي تسمع you see that at the end of the, the table at the bottom هو سمع هي سمعت and تسمع once more this is the fourth pattern an important pattern which occurs in the quran so once again sami'a sami'u sami'ta sami'tum sami'tu sami'na yasma'u yasma'una tasma'u tasma'una asma'u nasma'u isma' isma'u la tasma' la tasma'u سامع مسموع سمع هو سمع هي سمعت هو يسمع هي تسمع ما شاء الله the same way we have another word which comes in the quran 518 times which is alima it is not alama it is alima he knew he came to know okay alima he knew so let us practice alima can you translate alima means he knew alimu they knew alimta you knew okay so please translate alima he knew alimu he knew yeah you translate i will just say the arabic alima he knew alimu they knew alimta you knew alimtum you all knew alimtu i knew 
Alimna he knew. Ya'lamu he knows. Okay, so translate. Ya'lamu he knows. Ya'lamuna they know. They know. Ta'lamu you know. Ta'lamuna you all know. A'lamu I know. Na'lamu we know. I'lam no. I'lamu no. No get knowledge. La ta'lam don't know. Don't get knowledge. La ta'lamu don't learn. Don't know. Alim the one who knows. Okay. Ma'lum. That which is known. Okay, this is ma'lum means I know it. And ilm is knowledge, to know. Alright. And huwa alima hiya alimat. Huwa ya'lamu hiya ta'lamu. She knows. So repeat after me in Arabic. Alima alimu. Alima alimu. Alimta alimtum. Alimtu alimna. Alimtu alimna. Ya'lamu ya'lamuna. Ta'lamu ta'lamuna. أعلموا نعلموا اعلم اعلموا لا تعلم لا تعلموا عالم معلوم علم هو علم هي علمت هو يعلم هي تعلم ما شاء الله next one is عملا he did he acted okay and the same as علما three hundred times three hundred eighteen times so repeat after, after me. He did amal, he acted, he worked. Amilu, they worked, you worked, you did, I did, and so on. So repeat after me. Amila, amilu. Amilta, amiltum. Amiltu, amilna. Yamalu, yamaluna. Tamalu, tamaluna. Amalu, namalu. Amal, amalu. لا تعمل لا تعملوا عامل معمول عمل هو عمل هي عملت هو يعل هو يعمل هي تعمل okay and the same way is رحمة to have to show mercy to have mercy on someone he showed mercy they showed mercy he was merciful رحمة okay one hundred forty eight times please repeat after me رحمة رحمو رحمت رحمتم رحمت رحمنا يرحم يرحمنا ترحم ترحمنا أرحم نرحم إرحم إرحم لا ترحم لا ترحم راحم مرحوم رحمة هو رحمة هي رحمت هو يرحم هي ترحم. These are the four verbs that we learned in this uh, exercise. A beautiful link uh, in among the four, just to remember, is if you know, if you know, if you hear, then you will know. If you hear, then you will know. If you know, then you will act. You will make amal. And if you do amal, good amal, Allah will have mercy. So sami'a, if you know, if you hear, then alima, you will know. Then you amila. Then Allah will rahima. Sami'a alima amila rahima. Sami'a alima amila rahima. There are more than four, but these are the four that we practiced on these patterns of the fourth pattern, Sami'a. Okay. Now we come to learning tip. We talk thousands of things every day. You know, so what we are saying, just talk for one minute about the Quran about what you have learned today. Even if it is one verse, قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدْ Tell them, قُلْ is he, قُلْ is say, هُوَ he, Allah, أَحَدْ is one and only. Teach them a verse, a grammar rule. You know, what you have learned. Talk to your family, friends, colleagues, at work and in business, at home, in, in gatherings. Teach them, because the Prophet ﷺ said, خَيْرُكُمْ مَنْ تَعَلَّمَ الْقُرْآنَ وَعَلَّمَهُ The best of you is the one who learns the Qur'an and teaches it. Not only that, he commanded us. He said, بَلِّغُوا عَنِّي وَلَوْ آيَا Convey from me, even if it is one verse. So learn and teach. And it's the greatest gift for children because you will be teaching them the Qur'an, the mother of all books, the best of all books, the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is the best means to call your friends towards Islam using the Qur'an. Best quote-unquote excuse to work, start, you know, start working among friends. Because maybe they'll say, we know the lectures, but we'll say, why don't we understand, listen, you know, learn some Arabic and some Arabic of the Quran, learn Salah, and you can start interacting with them. 
Remember, no one can say the way Allah says. And no one can have as much effect as the as one of the as the speech of Allah has. You know. So you can we can give thousands of lectures, but if we teach them one surah properly, inshallah that will have much more effect throughout his life. Remember the golden rule? I listen, I forget. I see, I remember. And I practice, I learn. And I teach, I master. Therefore, the best way to learn is to teach. So teach everyone what you have learned. Brothers and sisters, in 16 lessons so far, we have learned 84 words that occur in the Quran 31,877 times. Inshallah, we'll continue in future. Subhanallah wa bihamdi, subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika. Nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk. والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته